The person in this problem is standing on frictionless ice. They have a mass of 70 kilograms, and someone throws them a 0.6 kilogram ball, moving horizontally at 10 meters per second. We're asked in part A to find how fast they move if they catch the ball. So I've drawn that in red. The person catches the ball, and we're asked to find that speed V that they move with. We'll solve this using conservation of momentum. There's no net external force in the horizontal direction. That means that momentum is conserved in that direction. Whatever it is in some initial state, it's the same in a final state. The initial state is here in blue before the ball is caught, and the final state is shown in red. In the initial state, only one thing is moving, so only one thing has momentum, it's the ball, mass times its velocity, which is positive. In the final state, the ball and the person are moving together at the combined speed v. So we can solve for that speed. It equals the mass of the ball over the sum of the masses times how fast the ball was thrown. Substituting all the values and calculating shows that the ball and the person drift off together at 8.5 centimeters per second. Part B asks what happens if instead of catching it, the ball bounces off the person's chest and goes backwards in the opposite direction at 8 meters per second. We'll call that V sub R, the speed in the reverse direction. And we're asked to find how fast the person drifts to the right, again speed V. We'll solve this using conservation of momentum, as before. With the same initial state, only one thing's moving, the ball with momentum, mass of the ball times velocity of the ball, positive. In the final state, shown in green, two things are moving. The person is moving in the positive direction, so their momentum is mass of the person times v. And the ball is moving in the negative direction, so its momentum is minus mass of the ball times v sub r. Solve this for the person's speed v. It equals the ball's mass over the person's mass, multiplied by the sum of those speeds. When you substitute the known values and calculate, you find that in this case, the person moves to the right with a speed of 15.4 centimeters per second, almost twice as fast as they were moving in part A.